Hi, boys and girls and moms and dads. This is a book that I found. It's a light beam book, and this one is called Moonlight Ocean, and it's by Elizabeth Golding and illustrated by Ali Lodge. It's a wonderful, very clever book. I'm going to show you inside. It's about the ocean and all the things in the ocean, but over here on the right-hand side, it has a little thing that you move around like a flashlight or a, a spotlight, and it shows the things in the ocean, and it asks you to find certain things, and it, it moves very easily up and down, over, around, and under, and in and out. So, let's start. This one is Octopus. Nighttime is approaching, and lots of sea creatures are on the prowl looking for food. Let's go to the ocean floor where an octopus is hiding from sharks and eels and dolphins who might prey on him. And there he is. He can squeeze through the tiniest holes as he has no solid parts to his body except for his parrot-like beak. He's looking for tasty snails, crabs, and oysters to eat. Did you know that baby octopuses are called hatchlings? Did you know that octopuses have three hearts and that an octopus can detach an arm to escape from a predator? And that an octopus kills its prey with poisonous venom? And what does octopus see near the wreck? And here's the wreck right here. And use your flashlight, and we're going to find a snail. There's a snail. See the snail right there? And crab. There's the crab. And the eel. And the shark. The anemone. Anemone. <laughs> and the dolphin. There's the dolphin. And here's some little fish over here. Cool. Now, the next page, shark. Right here, there's sharks. And over here, there's a shark. There are more than 350 kinds of shark, but this is a great white shark, the most dangerous fish in the sea. He has no enemies except humans. He eats fish and other sea creatures, which he can hear from a mile away. His favorite food is sea lion, and he can eat them whole. He has to keep swimming all the time to keep water flowing over his gills, which remove oxygen from the water. If he stops, he will drown. Did you know that baby sharks are called pups? Right here. Did you know that sharks regrow their teeth, amounting to thousands in a lifetime? And that great white shark babies are born five feet long? And did you know that a group of shark is called a shiver or a school? So who's trying to hide from the shark in the ocean? Well, just about everybody. So here we have a seal that's trying to hide, and the sea lion, and all of these little fishies, and the tuna fish, which I think is that one with the one little uh, comb on the top. And what else? Oh, squid. There's a squid. And that might be a tuna, too. That might be a tuna fish. A snapper fish. There he is, right down there at the bottom. And mackerel, that would be the green. Oh, that's mackerel right there. Oh, no, maybe that's the mackerel. I don't know. I can't tell. That's the tuna fish, and that's the mackerel. More teeth on their back. Cool. And look, uh, all the, the little snail and the starfish and all kinds of things here, too. Clownfish. Oh, they are so pretty. There's one right there. Here's the clownfish. And the sea anemones are best buddies. He lives with, a, with an anemone and is protected from its poisonous tentacles by slime on his skin. Let's see if we can find another one here. Is that a clownfish? I think it is. There he is in the water. Clownfish swims out into the reef where it lives with other creatures 
are attacked to the anemone by its bright colors. The anemone, anemone, I'm having trouble with that word, I'm so sorry, stings its prey and eats the little fish and the clownfish eats what is left. The anemone then eats the clownfish's waste. Did you know that baby clownfish are called fry? And that clownfish start their lives as males, then only a few become females as adults. And did you know that a group of clownfish is called a school? And that male clownfish guard their babies for several days. Good for them. Now let's see what clownfish see in the reef. Well, they see a starfish, and I don't think there are any starfish in our spotlight. But there's a crab. And there's the anemone. And what is that? Oh, a stingray. Oh my goodness. And a snail. And the clown. Oh, that's a butterfly fish. That's a butterfly fish. And shark. And there's a little clownfish. Turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest turtles in the ocean. This one has just dived after going to the surface to get more air. She's looking for yummy jellyfish to eat in the harbor. Fishing nets are a big hazard and she has to be careful not to be trapped by mistake. She laid about a hundred eggs in a hole in the sand on the beach nearby. They will hatch and make their own way to the ocean. And did you know that baby turtles are called hatchlings? Look at these baby turtles. They're in the sand on the beach. And did you know that leatherback turtles can weigh more than 2,000 pounds? That's a ton. One ton is 2,000 pounds. And did you know that leatherback turtles have been around for 100 million years? Woo! That's a long time. And did you know that a group of turtles is called a Bale. I did not know that. What does turtle see in the harbor? You can tell this is a harbor because there are boats anchored, moored there. So let's see. He sees jellyfish, and he sees fish, and seahorses, and snails. Oh, I can hardly reach with my spotlight. There's a snail, a little snail right there. Lobster. Where's that lobster? Oh, there he is. And a crab. And the one I can't pronounce. Anemone. There we go. I did it. Dolphin. Oh, one of our favorites. Dolphin stays underwater for just a few minutes before surfacing and breathing through the blowhole on top of his head. He sees a shoal of tasty mackerel and rounds them up with help from other dolphins. He needs to eat about 35 pounds of fish a day. The dolphins talk to each other with clicks and whistles under the water. They find food by making sounds and listening to the echoes that bounce back. Did you know that baby dolphins are called pups or calves? And did you know that dolphins are mammals? and breathe air just like you and I do. And did you know that baby dolphins drink their mother's milk underwater? Wow, that's a talent. And that a group of dolphins is called a pod or a herd. And what does the dolphin see in the bay? And this whole place is the bay. And let's see what he sees. Oh, well, there's the mackerel. All of that circle there is a mackerel. And here's the lobster right there, and the squid, and jellyfish is over here, and snail, where's the snail? There's a little snail right there. Here's the eel, and a seahorse. I love this book. I think this is a great interactive book, and I would like for you to be able to move the spotlight around with your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa so you can explore the ocean and hear the killer whale. Killer whales are also called orcas. They are the biggest animals in the dolphin family. 
Like their cousins, they breathe through a hole on top of their head. This orca has spotted a tasty seal on an ice shelf above and is zooming towards it. He will knock the seal into the water. He likes to eat fish, squid, diving birds, and even baby whales. His only enemy is people. Oh dear. Did you know that baby orcas are called calves? Yes, I did know that. Did you know that orcas grow to over 20 feet long? That's very long. And that an orca eats about 500 pounds of food a day. Wow. And did you know that a group of orcas is called a pod or a school? We'll have to remember that. What does killer whales see in the ocean? Well, let's see. That's a walrus. And this would be a jellyfish. And that is probably a seal. And these are squid. And let's see if we can find the cod. Where's the codfish? You think that's it? That's probably the codfish right there. See that? And the cuttlefish. Oh, there they are. And a penguin. Where's the penguin? Oh, I think the penguin's right there. He's not going to be in the spotlight, but let me move around. Oh, there. I was wrong. He's right there. There's the penguin. So what a fun book. And I love the spotlight idea. And remember, these books are called... Uh, a light beam book. And this is Moonlight Ocean, but there's also one with animals. So have fun looking for these. I recommend them highly. And until we read together again next time, boys and girls, bye-bye.